Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be doing a book review. Okay, a book review. So the book we'll be reviewing is this one. So this is a James Patterson bookshops type of book. So it is a fast read. It, you mean it says on the top stories of the speed of light. So it's a very short, simple, easy type of book. Um, to read so if you do are like doing a reading challenge or um you do want to slip in like a story or something i would definitely go for these because it's actually pretty good so this is the let's make believe um like i said james patterson james patterson and then of course um you know with james oborn um yeah Type of thing so when it does come to this book I didn't read like the back or anything so I was just completely <laughs> I just went into this like completely blind but now that I'm looking at the back <laughs> it probably would have helped me um, understand like who was narrating the story because I will tell you right now at the beginning when I was reading it um, it starts out with, I think, a pro prologue. Let me see. Yeah. And in that, I really start, thought it was Martin or the male in this book who was narrating the story. I thought it was his story type of thing. Boy, was I wrong until I got <laughs> into like the second chapter, I think and it was Christy so yeah um I can read you the back I'll read you the back it says both survivors of a divorce war Christy and Marty don't believe in love at first sight and certainly not on a first date but for the instant they locked eyes life became a sexy romance dream come true that is until the start playing of a strategy intense game of make-believe a game that's about to go too far if I would have read that I would have at least had <laughs> an outline of what the book was gonna be about <sighs> okay so this book is like giving you a little summary of what it's about it's about a divorced woman well she they're both going it's about a divorce she's not divorced yet okay she's getting a divorce okay um from her husband this book is based in Florida getting a divorce from her husband they're still going to court you know doing the whole type of thing she signed a prenup that he gave her literally I think the day of their wedding or something like that like something crazy like that so she got nothing she's getting nothing in the divorce and she's going to court basically to fight and try to get at least something but she's getting nothing um and then there is you know and then she you know she's at this bar and then she meets this guy his name is Mar Martin but they call him Marty or she calls him Marty I don't know where the whole Marty thing came from because his name was Martin <laughs> and that kind of confused me but um basically they start hanging out they like each other they had like a good type of vibe um, she he was putting her out of her comfort zone making her do things that she wouldn't normally do for instance um they have a hookup type of scene kind of like i think there was two or three um type of hookup type of scenes and basically he's also a like going through a divorce from his ex-wife and they start to do really crazy things that leads to people being shot dead so yeah so getting into characters I did take notes because like I said once it started becoming that Martin to Marty type of thing I was like oh no um so like I said there's a main character her name is Christy so she's the person that is you know talking in the book um type of thing it's her story it's about her ex-husband a lot a lot to the point where you're like why is she still bringing this dude up like I understand he has money I understand you had nothing but like you you, you had nothing before you even got into a relationship I don't understand 
but she keeps bringing him up, bringing him up, bringing him up, bringing him up. So here is the spoiler. If you want to pass by this part, click out, do it now, um, because the book is really short. If you are interested, I would suggest you um, go pick it up or get it ebook style. But I'm about to do some spoilers because I can't take it anywhere at all again. Like let, when it's called, when they say it's called Let's Play Make Believe, she was playing Marty this whole time. So during the book, I thought Marty was the bad guy. I thought Marty, he probably came off weird. Um, so who, Lisa, she's in the book, kind of. Um, she's in the beginning of the book. So Lisa is Christy's friend. And Lisa is also going through a divorce. For some reason, everybody in this book is going through a dang divorce. And um, she introduced Marty to Christy. So, like I said, during in the book, I really thought Marty was a crazy one. I He came off weird. I thought he was the one running this whole entire game. But then at the end of the book, I think it was chapter 29. Yeah, so in chapter 29 all the way to like 33, basically you find out that Christy was manipulating Marty the whole entire time. She put it in his head during the beginning of the book that Marty, you know, like if they don't have a will and you're married to them and they, you know, pass away, you can get everything. Because remember, these people are not divorced yet. They're going through the divorce process. So she told Marty that, and after she, t I noticed that she told him that during the beginning of the book, and of course Marty remembered. So when they went to, um, they eventually went to, you know, Christy's ex-husband's house, because Christy's crazy, um, they, you know, snuck in, looked around, did the whole type of thing. She, you know, was obsessed with his house. So, basically... There was a gun. She put the gun in the closet, like, noticeably, so Marty would take the gun because that's how Marty comes off. So he took the gun. And, yeah. So when he wanted to play make-believe, they went to his, you know, ex-wife's house, wanted to scare her, and eventually everything got out of hand, and he shot her. Twice. Um... So yeah, they tried to cover that up. He was in total shock. I thought it was all a fake until you realize at the end that it wasn't fake. He, he really didn't mean to do that. He actually really, really loved his ex-wife. Like obsessively loved his ex-wife. And it was all her. Um, she eventually goes to, wants to play make-believe the next day after them doing this. And she goes wants to show off marty to her ex-husband and it, that was all her game basically she wanted to play a game and the game ended up with marty dead and her ex-husband dead because she shot them and made it seem like they were shooting each other and she called police and basically at the end of the story who gets everything she does she gets the house she gets everything materialistic she didn't care at all about her husband when it comes to rating this book, I think, I don't know, I would rate it a good, like, three and a half um, stars because it was really good. It was very suspenseful, <laughs> literally, because I was blindsided by the whole who was in control because I would never thought Christy was in control. Like, what? And she just manipulated everybody. Now I, now I kind of get why her husband just, like, didn't want to be with her. Like, <laughs> she's crazy. Um, yeah, so I would give it a three and a half. Um, because I did get tired of her always talking about her husband and what her husband had and how they met. Like, when you meet somebody new, when you're going through a divorce, or even if you're not, but when you meet somebody new and you're talking to that other person that potentially likes you or you're trying to, like, you know, have some type of relationship with, you don't keep bringing up your past. Like, I can understand, you know, like, the first time they're talking type of thing, like, getting to know each other. Oh, you're going to a divorce? Yes, you know, it was like this. Like, like I understand that. 
And as you get a little closer, I understand you was sharing probably a little bit more, but she kept and kept and kept and kept on going after dates and after dates they had kept talking about her ex-husband, kept talking about how he looked, kept talking about, it was too much. It was too much for the story, but it all makes sense of how she was trying to get into Marty's head and make him feel less and that he, you know, needed to step up his game even though he was just very sweet to her. Oh my gosh, it was just, yeah. So yeah, I mean, that's the review for this. <laughs> I probably was everywhere, but yeah, I do highly suggest you get it. I mean, if you um, have the time and you're not interrupted to read, you can easily get through this, like, in a couple of hours. Like, it's not, it's not that difficult, but if you're like me and you have a kid and <laughs> um, it could take a little bit longer, but it didn't take me that long to read this. Yes, I hope you enjoyed that review and I hope you do check out the book and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.